Hello everyone, welcome back to the Infected Season 7. In today's episode, you know, I don't know what I want to do today. I mean, there's things that we need to get done around the base. These are running on nothing. Guess we could put them out for now. Oh well, let's go see if the glasses produced any. I mean, realistically, we only need one of these running right this second. So let's turn one of them off. I'm going to just use this one. All right, we need to build winter gear because if you hit F, we're in September, fall. So we're getting close to the winter time. So let's look in the encyclopedia. Armor and clothes. So we need a cooling jacket. Or I mean a winter coat. Which is. 25 plant fiber and 10 feathers. 25 plant fiber and 10 feathers. 25. Twenty-five and ten plant ten feathers. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's made on the workbench by the by the way, just in case you have your winter set different than mine. Alright, so won't let me build it until I take off the shirt. Which, I would love to take off this shirt, if it would let me. <laughs> Alright, so let's make this jacket, shall we? And we are going to hang it up, because it's not winter time yet. Next, we need the cargo pants taken off. So, for pant winter pants, let's see here. Winter pant or snow pants, 12 feathers, 20 fiber. 12 feathers, 20 fiber. 12 feathers. If you're wondering, I'm holding down the alt and right clicking. And 20 plant fiber. that ought to work so 12 feathers and 20 plant fiber and we'll hang those up and we'll put back on our cargo gear Hold on, there's leg armor, itempedia, armor, leg armor, five and eight, five and eight Kevlar, five and eight Kevlar. Five cloth. Where did I say I put the cloth at? How are these doing? 17 hours and something. Hmm. Can't remember where I put the cloth at. Where did I put the cloth at? There it is. And we have exactly five. <laughs> You can make cloth, by the way, if you're wondering. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> I think they're made on the loom. Let's see. No? There we go. Leg armor. Now we're even more durable. <laughs> 
Like we needed to be more durable, really. No, our tune doesn't have any shoes on, so let's accommodate him with shoes. Boot. Four Kevlar and four cloth. Well, you know what? We don't have any more cloth. But we will have cloth here in a second. So what's the recipe for cloth? So Itempedia, other. Cloth. Three plant. Not. That's a lot of screams. Medkit time. Wow. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven Vambies at one time. That's ridiculous. I think that's, um, why is this thing not running? Do I gotta turn it on every day or what? Man, wasted time there. That thing wasn't doing anything. Alright. So before we were rudely interrupted. Itempedia. Bulk items. Cloth. So, 15 and 25. 15 and 25. We're actually hungry. Do I have a ration pack on me? I do. Just eat it. Max out our stats. Alright. So. Split. 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 25 and 15 plant fiber. We just make up some cloth just in case we need it for later. Alright, so we have cloth. Miscellaneous ores can take all that. Alright, so we were working on boots, right? Itempedia, armor, boots. Four cloth, four Kevlar. Four cloth, four Kevlar. What is it made on real quick? Itempedia, armor. Crafted at the workbench. Okay. Mike's harvesting crops now. Alright, so now we're fully kitted out. This is what we... Wish we could see what we look like with all that on. That would be pretty cool. Alright, so we have cloth left over. Anybody else? What do you got for me? Aluminum. Some arrows. And nothing. I am going to put the cloth up here and hopefully I remember it. Our foods are doing good. We'll probably grab a coal. Do I have that repair hammer on me? I do. Alright. Or the upgrade hammer, I'm sorry. That was what I meant. Alright, so we need clay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, four clay. Because we're going to make a brick. I'm going to get this center room all bricked out. Got to make the brick before we can. Whoops. We're going to make the clay first. Why it just doesn't output clay is beyond me. I'm not a developer though. So I don't, maybe it's one step closer to being realistic. In a way. If you turn clay into clay itself. You know clay soil into clay by adding water maybe. That might be a thing eventually. You know you need water to build bricks. Because you need the water to mix with the clay. Just another mechanic. Because technically all the mechanics are here. That are going to be in the game as far as I'm aware. Um, I don't think um, there's going to be any planks in that to be done. I'll put the one piece of coal in here. Alright, so we have extra iron. Let's get that forge up and running. Yeah, it's a bummer that thing wasn't running all the time. Two bandages, that's nice. It's better than a kick in the face, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Mike, you're hurt at work, buddy. Slow down, you're making me look bad. So how you doing, Mike? What's the inventory look like in here? We have a lot of stuff. Did he fill these boxes up first? No. Could have sworn I had potatoes. Were they in this box? Yeah, potatoes. Potato. Corn. I need a cucumber. Do I have cucumber on me? We do. So four potatoes and four corn. Can we fit the other corn? Nice. Wish I found an animal to get rid of these eggs. We need aluminum cans. You know what, it's time for these benches to move inside, especially this one. We finally cleaned up the area a little bit. So this one's going to go over here on this side. And then... This stick stand can go right about there. We need a place to put the food prep table. You know what, we'll just put it right here for now. Along with the butchering table. I'm making another butchering table by the way if you're wondering. I am going to make two of them. Actually, I'm, I'm going to make four, three more of them. Because they're going to mat, they're going to match on each side. So if I'm on that side of the base, I can butcher an animal. If I'm on this side of the base, I can butcher an animal. Yeah. So while we're thinking about it. And company has arrived once again.
All right, so we want this food prep table on the line. We want this one on the line. So let's look here. So we want it on, well, how do we have it on this one? We have it on the line facing closest to the thing. So it's one there and then the butchering table. Yeah, it's pretty close. And lo and behold, we need nails and a whole bunch of other stuff. Placeables, food, butchering table. Alright, so we have those set up and they're going to be memorized on the other side over there. These racks are going to go integrate into here around this area. And then we have the grow plots. Or the greenhouses here. We need copper. I think we've let those run quite a bit. The copper and cobalt and whatnot. I'll take a day and go grab them. So you guys don't have to watch me do it again and again and again. That would get kind of boring. But you get to see the scenery. So, you know, not all that bad. Anything can happen between here and there. And I forgot I moved the table in here. So cucumber, that, that, and aluminum can. Aluminum can. All right, so we have canned food here. 21 minutes. So let's move these over here. And then we'll shove the cans in there. Not the melon. We're going to use the melon here in a second. Did I have a food box over here? I do. Here, take the eggs. I need two cans. One, two. 17 hours left on those cans. Why did I get fiber from? One of the bambies dropped that or something? Probably. Harvest the watermelon. Harvest the melon. And then we want to can it. I mean, so we have a plethora of canned goods going. I think what we're going to do is we're going to work on this a little bit, I guess. Should we need a place to put the wind turbines? They're bugging me. So how's this doing? One aluminum, three glass. I mean, I guess we could get rid of the three glass by putting them through here. There you go. Three glass gone. If you're wondering, I discarded the sand for right now. That's a later project that we can work on. But we'll have so much sand that we won't know what to do with. So there's... 90 gets here. Like I said, we only need one of these running right this second. Alright, so we also need to get this done, which we need 10 screws. Do we have 10 screws anywhere? Because that's going to keep 9 screws. Okay, we need to wait for Vambi to drop some screws. But this is going to keep us warm during the winter time. And plus, I got to get the doors in work on the doors shall we let's go grab some planks what will 
we doing again? <laughs> Let me take a drink of my coffee. Maybe I'll remember. <laughs> We were grabbing planks for some reason. Oh yeah, we were going to, um... Whoops. Let's not let her sneak up on us. We were going to finish the greenhouse, and uh, lo and behold, there she is. If we get the greenhouses up and running, I'll be happy. This one needs nails, though, and glass. Now I'm regret. Oh, yeah, we were going to fill the doors in. <laughs> Told you I didn't remember what I was doing. <laughs> I get lost in my own videos. That's pretty bad, huh? Why do you think I opened the map so much? I, get, I would get lost if there was no map. <laughs> I tried out Green Hill, and I died like 20 times. I was like, yeah, this is not enjoyable, so I... I don't need the doors closed while I'm in here. You know what? I think that would look pretty cool. Hmm. I'm thinking here. Got ideas to make this thing look a little bit better. Instead of just a big block of ugliness. I mean, it's pretty epic. I mean, it's... It's a build. <laughs> to say the least. And we're not even done with the build. What's it take to make a repair kit? Itempedia. Other. Repair kit. Nails and planks. Made on the what? Nails, planks on the workbench. Nails and planks. We have seven nails left. That's not a lot of nails. These are growing pretty good. Have they got water? Yeah. Mike just harvested them a little while ago. So, itempedia, placeables, food. One, two, three, my eyes are playing tricks on me again. So these are back farther than these are. So we're going to have to delete these, see if we can place them back a little further. One. Two, three, four. And grab these real quick. Just steady hand wins the race. Come on.
It's hard to see these outlines with my eyeballs. I need glasses. That's a buttload of planks and we've got one more roll to put in. <laughs> this one's going to be for potatoes. Come on, get it right. There we go. <laughs> Busy. Go away. <laughs> what you give me? Oh, come back again. <laughs> I'll take cobalt. Sometimes they line up perfectly. Other times they don't line up perfectly at all. And then a center one. So that's like at least 80 nails just to finish that off. This is finalized other than replanting these crops like the melons, the onions in a different area. Do we finish? You know what? I I want to finish these mineral extractors before I commit to more nails being made. I want to get uh, get the things done. Actually, was that a chicken? Sorry about that. Give me a second, everyone. Okay, sorry about that. My son came in. That's the creaking of the door, so I had to... You came in to grab something real quick. Dry brick, huh? Alright. We need 20 more brick. Let's go grab some clay real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4... Does that need fuel? Yeah, it needs fuel. Our dude gets thirsty quite a bit. At least we have a water source. Relatively easier to our disposal here. Alright, so this cobalt piece is up and running. I just need four left over. And we have four left over. Alright, so that, that, that. Well, first we gotta convert the clay and, or the um, clay soil into clay and then we can make the brick. And we can shove the brick in here. to grab a drink. Pause the game on accident. Alright. 
So all the iron we're committing to the... Oh, we need fuel. We need fuel for the circular saw. Luckily we have four available here. And that should top it off nicely and then just start cutting again. Okay, we gotta get this. We got so much to do. Let's focus on getting, as we're going, we'll focus on getting the mineral extractors up and running. So, for one thing, we're going to need planks. So, give me one more minute, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry for the interruptions. Alright, we're back. So, be with the interruptions today, this will probably be my last video that I record today. I'm going to go help my son figure out how to put a power supply in the computer. See if that's the problem with his computer shutting down. In my honest opinion, I think it's the, um, the processor overheating. You know, to save, the windows would shut off to save, make sure that it didn't break the processor. Alright, we have plenty of planks on us. What were we doing? <laughs> oh yeah, we were going to start putting these in the mineral extractor. Get these up and running here. Does one of these wind turbines need a cobalt? Yeah, lots of cobalt. I know I said I'm going to take a day and go out to the cobalt mine, but I think we, you guys should come with me because I want to know where the truck is. So I am going to go on the search for the truck and see, it's in the, see if it's in the upper towns. Oh, that's a lot of rock. Box is full. And those are emptied out already. Make sure I can get underneath the reasonable walking space here. Take those bricks and throw them in the brick forge here. That's got all the brick. That's working on the brick. We just need to keep focusing on working on brick, working on this, working on that. <laughs> 10 glass, 20 glass. And that's all the glass in that one. We need copper too. So much to do, so little time. I wish I could take an aerial view. Can I jump up there? Can I jump up there? Ooh, I can. Take a look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? We're getting all organized. We're making some progress here. Lots to do in that area back there. Out that way. Is going to be... Where Mike and that Mike and that live because we're gonna move him from here over to there But I don't know how we're gonna do it. I think we need we'll have to dismantle or move the boxes one by one Um To said building, but this is gonna be a two-story high building along with steps What do steps look like? Let's look 
Why we're here. Where would we put them? It'd be cool if we could just put them right between the um, greenhouses. Dev! Greenhouses, that would be pretty cool. You know, stick them right between the greenhouses. I mean, I guess we could stick them on the side here. So that only goes up one level. You would have to go up two levels. I mean, there's also these kind of stairs here. That you can put in. Well, where would we put them? I mean, these are going to be workbenches and thang. I mean, technically, if I don't concrete it, I could walk through here. Maybe. I should be able to. Nah. We'll just keep it like it is. I mean, it doesn't have to be two-story. Be nice if it was two-story. But yeah. Alright, everyone. I think we're at a good stopping point right this second. Um, we don't have anything to do, really. We're waiting on this grinder to grind up some iron and some more sand for us. You know what? There is more sand. Let's grab some more clay. And drop the iron fragments off in there real quick. I'm presuming our brick are dry. No, no, no. You're using the brick for the forge. You need to get these forges up and running. Alright, now you can use them to upgrade. And it takes 10 to upgrade, which is fine. Alright, so clay, 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 and more clay. And then we want brick, brick. Alright, that is complete. We don't need, well, I mean, I guess we could start making glass. Drop this step off in here. Turn this one off. We'll just use this one for now. I mean, that should be all we need for right this second. Those are wet brick. I mean, that looks pretty good as far as brick goes. Six brick for that. You know what? To finalize the video, let's get the last two doors built. I hear a chicken. I need a deer or a raccoon to come by. <laughs> Ribbit? Frog. That was a frog. That's not a deer. Even though it, only, it gives you meat. Alright. Center room is looking pretty good. We're getting it bricked out. We need iron ingots there. How many wood? It's got all the wood it needs. Nails and copper. Alright. So that's what we're going to do in tomorrow's episode. Or the next episode is we're going to go and grab the copper and then we're going to go grab the cobalt and then we're going to go grab the aluminum and then we're probably going to pick up some lead while we're out and about 
so that we can start getting things moved around. I thought these racks were going to go right here, but I think this looks better. You know, organized. I mean, I, I was planning on taking this. Will it fit there? Well, it will if we wanted to. Yeah, you know, put something like that on each side and fill it up just so it looks good, you know, for aesthetic purposes. And then maybe taking these water basins. It'll empty out once I move it, by the way, if you're wondering. You know, put the water basins like right here at the end of the thing. That's a little ways away. Let's move it over that way. Maybe like right here. Just in case we need to grab water from it. Just for making it look good. Mike, there was a Bambi. Did you see him, buddy? No help, Mike. Why is he at 36 hunger all the time? Let's follow him around a little bit. <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. I, I'm an undercover boss. He teleports. Interesting. There's a melon over here. I think that's... Well, we need cucumbers. You know what? Before we end the video... Let's make some fruit salads. Okay, everyone, this is where I'm going to call this video, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you storm that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe for more daily videos. Okay, everyone, take care and bye-bye.